starts turning it up One more and I'm gonna call your bluff And by 2 a.m. we'll be a little messed up So everybody get ready For three too many What's up, fam? Welcome back to episode two of the Three Too Many podcast. I'm here with my best friends, Carrie Cooper and Brooke Duvel, and we've got a lot to talk about today. We're talking about so 75 much. hard, talking about uh, our 2021 goals. Heck yeah. How was your guys' week? What'd you guys do? I mean, just worked out and ate healthy because that's all <laughs> we can do. <laughs> We're pretty no, limited. but it. It has been a really nice week. So it's been nice to like, because one of our workouts requires to be outside. So just like walking outside has been really joyful. For sure. Yeah. And Bemidji, it's been like sunny and in like the forties and fifties and the snow is melting, which is great. As much as I love snow, I'm like, it's time for it to be gone. (laughs) Done with it. Right. Yeah. Brooke, when you Snapchatted our group snap, on Monday and was like, you're at work and you're like, I feel so good right now. I'm like, me too. Like week two has been, well, the beginning of week two was like really good for me. Um, I kind of fell off the wagon a little bit and messed up my routine a little bit halfway mm-hmm. through, but we're, we're back on track. Yeah. Yeah. Week two hard. was fine. Yeah. The beginning of the week I was like, let's go. And now today I'm like, I'm exhausted. <laughs> but <laughs> only because like we lost an hour of sleep now and I know I really felt that this morning yeah and my boyfriend like I'm at his house right now he is at his cabin and like I just anywhere I am even if I'm at my house in Minneapolis and I'm home by, by myself I just like don't like being home by myself and I just never sleep very well so I barely slept last night I kept waking up like every hour to like Shit's Creek blaring <laughs> on my phone. <laughs> Classic. Well, I know. Yeah, for people watching and listening, we should probably explain what seventy five hard is and what. Yeah, we're what is it? Aaron, explain it. <laughs> so seventy. So seventy five hard. Uh, I don't know when um, this guy started it. His name is Andy Frizzella. He hosted. He's like a CEO of a bunch of different companies. Um, has a podcast called Real AF. Um, good. And he created this mental toughness challenge is what it is. Um, and it has a list of five tasks that you have to complete every day for 75 days. There's no cheats. There's no no breaks um, in, in the challenge. It's 75 days of putting in the work. Um, the, the, the parts of the challenge are two workouts a day, 45 minutes long, at least. And one of them has to be outside. Uh, Follow a meal plan, no cheat days. Um, You have to drink a gallon of water. You have to read 10 pages of a nonfiction entrepreneurial um, book. And then you have to drink a gallon of water a day and you pee a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I have that in my notes. I'm peeing so much (laughs) in my notes. (laughs) And Aaron has wanted to make sure people knew that (laughs) for sure. Aaron has done this challenge before. So Aaron, talk about the first time you did it. Yeah. So the first time I did it, um, I like discovered it from a kid that I follow on Instagram who lives in Minnesota. He, um, I can't think of his name right now, but he does like, uh, photography, media, media stuff. Um, and he posted like his progress pictures and I was like, dang, like he really transformed his body in 75 days. And, um, I, it was Labor Day weekend and we were hanging out, uh, on Percy Priest and day drinking. And like, it was like a week long bender for me of like drinking, going <laughs> <Sounds> out, great. <laughs> <laughs> just trash. And like two weeks later, I was like, at one weekend, I was just like, you know what, I just need to like, reset and decided on a Saturday, that Monday, I was gonna start the 75 hard challenge. And I was like, Oh, it won't be that bad. Like, what am I getting myself into? And like, 
a week in, I was like, oh my God, this <laughs> is the hardest thing I've ever done. Um, but yeah, it was, I, I never felt so like mentally clear and like focused than after going through this whole process, which was crazy. Um, cause I mean, I've been drinking like for fun, like ever on the weekends and stuff since like college right. pretty much. And to give yourself that break and that head space, you're like, wow, it's crazy how much like, especially drinking and like just eating like crap, like affects your right. mental health. And when you're so used to it, you, you don't think anything of it. You're just like, yep, that's a weekend. Yeah. <laughs> that's how you feel <laughs> on the weekend yeah. when you're out doing those things. And how much weight did you lose the first time? So I didn't like weigh myself at the beginning of the first one that I did. One, because I didn't have a scale. And two, I was like, <laughs> I don't really like <laughs> one. And I was just like, I don't really care how much weight I lose. I'm just here for it to like change the way I think about reaching my goals and the way I th think about like my path as like a songwriter artist was kind of more of my focus. And that's what the whole program like dials down to according to Andy is more of like a um it's like the circumstances are never going to be perfect like you're going to have to go outside and run in the rain or the snow um and that translates just to life like your circumstance in life is never going to be perfect and you just need to get up and do it um, sure. and so that's that was the biggest takeaway that I got out of it hmm, nice I think for me, it's different, like, especially for women in general. I don't know. But like, for me, I'm like, I'm going to be hot this summer. Like, <laughs> yeah, lose a bunch of weight. Hot girl but summer. yeah, I mean, going into this is so we just finished our second week, we're going to week three. Um, it has been really nice just to be sober and not be hung over during the weekends. Cause like, I'm getting so much shit done. Right. Like I feel right. so just like productive. active and like, yeah, productive. And like, even sometimes I'll get my two workouts done and I feel like I could go, I could like do a third one sometimes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I'm like, I just want to keep moving. So yeah, I mean, at first it was like, I want to lose a bunch of weight, but yeah, <laughs> now that, no, but now that you I'll like put skinny. it in that perspective, it's like, yeah, it is making me mentally healthier in the way how I think about like eating and drinking. Like I've been going to the bar just for something to do to like hang out with friends. And I was texting these two last night, everyone was eating like pizza and chicken nuggets and <laughs> waffle fries. And I was like, Oh my God, I'm so hungry. And I didn't have any food at my house. So I made like a tortilla pizza, but yeah, it's awesome to like be able to say no. Yeah. yeah. And it's very like customizable too. like, um, you don't have to do like crazy workouts. Like it can be two walks a day. It can be yeah. CrossFit. It can be like intense as intense as you want to go. That's and what's meal, great about it. And the, and the meal plan is whatever fits your goal. You know, mm -hmm. like the last time I, I cut, I was really restrictive and like cut out sugar and dairy. And, um, this go around, I'm just really counting my my protein intake and my total calories to like maintain a current weight. And yeah, mm -hmm. it's. Yeah. Uh, I mean, for me too, as someone who is like not disciplined, I am like spontaneous life. I don't like routine. I like things to be different every day. And I think the nice thing about this challenge is like you said, how adaptable it is, is like, you know, he's not saying, go to the gym at 6 a.m. and do this, follow this workout routine. And then, then in the evening, do this. And here's how many calories you can have a day. And here's your diet. Like, cause that's not the point of it. Like the point is to be consistent and to be disciplined enough to say, this is what needs to be done in order for there to be change or in order for me to reach my goals. And like, that's, why I'm really enjoying it. I mean, it's challenging because I'm so like, again, like I like every day doing different things, having variety, but like 
I downloaded this app that's just like a to-do list where you just, you know, it's just a to-do list on your phone. And now I like look at that every day and it's like, I have to check these things off every day. And it doesn't matter. You know, I don't work out at the same times every day. I don't do the same workouts every day. Like I was telling you guys, I definitely need to like level up my workouts this week because I haven't been getting sore anymore. So that's (laughs) how you know (laughs) it's time to step it up. Um, But yeah, I'm just like the mentality of like, these are the things I have to get done today, period, the end, because this is what is going to help me get better and like achieve my goals. That's what I like about it. And it yeah. like, can carry over into like other parts of your life too. Like, like I've never kept my room as clean as <laughs> when I'm on a 75 hard. Cause I'm like, Oh, what else can I do? You know? Yeah, <laughs> like, exactly. List, you know? Yeah. You just feel like you're energizer bunny. And then like with the whole schedule thing, like, and this probably goes for most people, like during, like when the pandemic started, like, I think we are all just kind of like, what do we do? And sat there, you know, and like, (laughs) it's nice to have a, like, like you're saying your schedule can change, Mm -hmm. you know, day by day with what you have going on, but it's so nice to like, you need to make sure like, if you want to get two workouts in, in a day and you don't want to feel like horrible, like you need to wake up early and get at least one workout done. And then like, you work. And then like, for example, for me, I'll do like my second workout. Like I'll go walk outside for like 45 minutes on my break. Um, but yeah, it's just, I love having so many things that I need to get done. Cause I feel so productive. Like for I, sure. I'm really enjoying this challenge and I thought it was going to be, it is hard, yeah. but it is enjoyable. Mm-hmm. Awesome. What books are you guys reading? I'm reading Originals by, I think his name is Adam Grant. Um, And it's just all about how, I think the subtitle is like how nonconformists move the world. And it's really interesting because he talks a lot about how, you know, people who can tap into, you know, their individuality and have their own like creative thinking and think outside the box and do things differently and kind of forge their own paths. Like those are the most successful people in the world. And yeah, it's great. You know, these people who are like scholars who get their PhDs from Harvard and people who were prodigies growing up, like who, you know, these high achieving people, but sometimes that can hold you back because you're so focused on you know, falling into what society deems is, you know, scholarly or like a mark of achievement or like what success Mm -hmm. looks like that oftentimes that holds people back. Whereas like people who aren't worried about what people think about them or what their, you know, social status is or, you know, what their title is at work currently, you know, those are usually the most successful people, people who just, have an idea, stick with it, you know, connect with other people who, you know, their values align or have the same vision as them. Like those are the people who really like create positive change and move society forward. So it's really interesting. I'm enjoying it. Cool. Cool. I've been reading um, a book that Carrie had recommended to me. It's how to be a boss um, by Lily Singh. Is that how you say her last name? She Um, said, Yeah, I actually haven't ever watched. She's a YouTube sensation, a huge YouTuber. Um, But so far, the book is pretty good. Like I'm halfway through. Um, It's just pretty much like step by step um, how to conquer like being successful in whatever you want to do. Just like she makes notes about like how emotions can play into things and Um, how to keep a schedule and how to achieve your goals pretty much. So, I mean, it's been pretty motivational, I think. Um, Not the most interesting like self-help book I've ever read, (laughs) but um, it's nice to like get back on the reading schedule. Like when the pandemic first started, I just like read so many books and then I just kind of stopped because it got nice out and summer happened. But um, yeah, it's been nice to like take at least, you know, 20, 30 minutes a day just to like sit down and read and unplug. I usually do it before Mm -hmm. I go to bed. So same. It's nice. 
It's great. How about you, Aaron? What are you reading? I'm reading No More Mr. Nice Guy. <laughs> yeah. I would be about to be a dick to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> no. Who <laughs> Who's the author? Oh, God. I have no idea. Oh, okay. That's, we'll we'll write it in the show notes. We'll write it in the show notes. But it's like all about... We'll send you a link. Yeah. I'm very much like a people pleaser and like... Um, say yes to everything. A yes say to yes everyone. to everything and put others before me. And so it's kind of teaching me how to break that habit into... To, uh, create boundaries. Create boundaries. Boundaries, and, man. Wow, you got all that skill so. everyone needs to learn. <laughs> <laughs> so it's been good. I've, I've, it. I was gonna read, finish reading Green Lights by Matthew McConaughey first. Ooh, so good. It's. I haven't finished it yet. I've got like a little more than halfway through it. But yeah. then I ordered this book on Amazon because I found it on TikTok, and um. I read like the first like introductory page and I was like, oh my God, this is exactly me. <laughs> my life. And then I was like, okay, great. I can't put this down. I have to finish this one first. <laughs> nice. That's awesome. Matthew McConaughey's so, how- book is really good too. If anyone needs a suggestion. Oh, He's yeah. awesome. Yes. I love him. I got Green like lights. four song, song ideas from that book. Nice. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You're going to have to like tell him that. He would love it. <laughs> yeah. he would. Maybe we can get him on the pod. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Matthew McConaughey. Write that up? down. Write that down. <laughs> 2020, uh, 2021 goals. Yeah. yeah 2021 <laughs> goals. Start a podcast. Goal number two have Matthew McConaughey. Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> Really putting that so, out there. Uh, That'd be crazy. Yeah, it <laughs> would. And it would be awesome. And I think you would like us. <laughs> I think we would be best friends. And yeah. Then he would fly us out to Texas and we could go Ooh. to a Texas college football game, whatever yeah. team he supports. And then like we the can orange go back one. to his house and we can sit around a bonfire drinking wild turkey whiskey, just like, the, just like the commercial. He can drive and us then, around like, in his Lincoln. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And he can give you all of his awesome cologne. Yes. Mm. So <laughs> all really dreaming big, you guys. I love this. <laughs> oh, so all in all, you guys, how are you feeling after week two now that we've completed it? it uh, I, I feel like, you know, I was worried that I, every day I was going to be like, ugh, like there's still so much time left. Like this is going to take forever. But I have a little countdown on my phone. I do too. I just look at that every day. And it's like, we already only have si- like 61, 60 days left, you know? And I feel like that flew by. Like, you know, I felt like we started this like two days ago, but it's already been two weeks. Yeah. You know, so the more it just becomes a routine, I feel like it's going to be 75 days before we know it. Another thing that I'm excited for is like the point where it's like you're so close to finishing. And if you fail, you don't want to start back over at day one. Yeah. Like, okay. <laughs> it's I, like, I, no. I see the light at the end just of the tunnel. I just need to grind going. it out, you know? But yeah. yeah. And when we start seeing like progress and like our, physical chain totally like that's going to be such a huge motivator because it mm-hmm. was for me the yep. first time going through it I feel like I'm already like even though it's very subtle I feel like I am like starting maybe not seeing it but I do definitely feel change like mm-hmm. I just feel way less bloated for and sure. just like oh sure. I do feel like a little skinnier <laughs> yeah that's awesome. well but, like yeah, like part of my diet that I'm following. So I did Whole30 last February. And and part of Whole30 is like giving up alcohol for 30 days too. And so this time around, because when I did Whole30, because I wasn't drinking beer, because I love beer so much, I was like, whenever I went out, it was like Diet Coke or Red Bull. And I was drinking like three LaCroix a day, just like carbonated beverages constantly and you know not that those things are terrible well red bull is not great but <laughs> Diet um, <Coke. laughs> yeah it's yeah, just Diet like not good either. but you know that amount of carbonation like makes you bloat and like that's half the struggle with beer is like that's why people get a beer belly like carbonation makes you bloat and so 
I've totally cut out all carbonated drinks, no Red Bull, no Diet Coke, no LaCroix, oh, just straight no up. fancy soda water. No soda water, I love water, soda girl. water. I know. And I've also cut out cheese. I wasn't like eating a whole lot of dairy anyways, but I am like addicted to cheese. So I that had to go to. That I, to go. you will be so proud though. of me. No, I don't really like vegan cheese. I mean, like, I had Polly the brings it home from the co-op all the time. So, like, sometimes I'll add it on things, but I'm not a huge fan of vegan cheese. I'm the same. I've been, like... I'd rather just go without. I barely eat cheese throughout the week. Like, yesterday was a very... I mean, I did want to eat a chicken strip or a pizza. So I like bought some like low fat mozzarella cheese and oh my God, it tasted so good. But yeah, I'm usually a girl that puts cheese on every meal Mm -hmm. every day and I barely, and you don't even need cheese every day. You don't need it. But for me, it would be like for dinner, I would eat like cheese and crackers. (laughs) Like like that would be a meal. (laughs) Oh yeah, we I mean that's for- a great meal. I did know. We forget to say, did we forget to say that we have to take a progress picture every day too? Oh no. Oh yeah, I, I'm not taking a progress picture every day. <laughs> we're, we're protesting. I take that. it every week, <laughs> yeah, every Monday weekly. morning. Uh, you guys, it's not a 75 hard, it's a 75 medium. <laughs> oh my god. 75 count. medium. <laughs> it is a 75 <laughs> hard. <laughs> I have an album on my phone. <laughs> Same. Yeah. Well. Oh, yeah. Anyway. Brooke and Carrie are doing a 75 medium. <laughs> <laughs> we There's are nothing not doing 75 hard medium. about Tate. Like, it's not like that's getting in my way. I'm just like, I don't want a million pictures of my body on my phone. It's, yeah, why do you need it? And it'll just drive me nuts. I would encourage you guys to listen to his did I, I sent you guys the, the yes, link a long time ago, but it's like, it's just about doing the small things like, yeah, taking a picture is, is not fun. Um, but you have to, it's just one of those things. Another thing you have to check off the list every it. day. Okay. I'll put it on my to-do list. <laughs> <laughs> Cause then I'll freaking do it. <laughs> do you just take one like straight looking at the mirror? Or do you take um, at all angles every day? This this go around I did I do three so I do like front side and then back. Yeah, and I've been then, doing front side and back every Monday, but not every day. <laughs> well, we're gonna start doing it every day so Aaron stops bitching at us. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, okay. so I think that covers our seventy five hard. Yeah. So stay stay tuned, tuned. you guys. We're going to be hot as fuck. Especially (laughs) um, because we are rewarding ourselves after 75 Hard. The three of us booked a weekend trip to Boulder, Colorado. So we're going to be drinking so much craft beer and bar hopping and getting some hashtag views in. It's going to be great. Oh, God. I can't wait. It's going to be so fun. You guys are going to love Boulder. We are going to be so fucking wasted. (laughs) (laughs) We're going to have like two beers and just be wild and out. We're going to be like all in the altitude and we're just going to be like, fuck up. For sure. (laughs) Altitude sickness. God damn it. You guys really got to (laughs) hydrate. One one time Carrie came down to to Nashville and we went to the Smoky Mountains for literally like a day and a half. And... Carrie was like, we need to make sure we drink enough water and acclimate <laughs> so we don't get altitude sickness. I didn't realize that <laughs> the Smoky Mountains are like the Smoky Hills. Like, yeah. <laughs> I didn't have much context. <laughs> oh, I know. We, we stayed hydrated, though. Just we were case. so hydrated. <laughs> So there was wasn't any altitude over. issues? No, no altitude sickness in okay. the Smoky Mountains. Oh, so funny. We were good. <laughs> I don't think my ears even popped. No. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> oh, All right. I'm, I'm excited for Boulder. Yeah. I've yeah. never been to Colorado, and I don't care about Colorado. <laughs> so. Everyone go stream I Don't Care About Colorado by Aaron Clafton. Follow Actually Aaron Clapton song. on Spotify. Follow him. Follow him on Twitter. Follow yeah. him on Instagram. Follow Stream. all of Aaron us. Clapton. Do you still, Aaron, do you still have merch? 
I still have a few sweatshirts left. Ooh, yeah, so if you guys want sweatshirts, well, they're nice I mean, too. Maybe not at the time this comes out, but <laughs> yeah. Well, check. Well, well, check. I really we'll wish check. you would, uh, you know, do I don't care about Colorado sweatshirts. The oh, blue cool cool I'd buy that. Yeah. I would. I would not wear a sweatshirt that says I don't care about Colorado. <laughs> it's a song parody. <laughs> Care very maybe much about Colorado. Maybe t-shirts would be cool. Yeah. And do like the, you the do colors of tank. Colorado on it. Mm. Like Ooh. the flag or whatever. Mm. I would wear one that says IDCAC with mountains on yeah. it. Yeah. Well, that's what he would do. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Brooke. <laughs> <laughs> Brooke's my manager now. <laughs> yeah, the merch manager. No, Jody will get mad that she wants that job so bad. <laughs> my mom is always like so like for fire fest does aaron need someone to run the merch table because i'm a retail expert <laughs> hey like, you guys want to get a cold card <laughs> i'm like Cole's mom card. he knows oh so i saw tiktok jody would be proud of this tiktok i need to go to kohl's today because they just launched a new like active wear yeah like i don't know what what that's called line Act- line yeah um and it looks really good i'm sure it is yeah so, Kohl's always has check big it out. brands i went to Kohl's yesterday and i was like at the checkout and i was like oh my fucking god i was with my cousin alex and i was like i wonder if jody's here and then i saw that <laughs> jody's in arizona so i was like yeah, yeah is jody gonna move to arizona no i think they would go for like a month at a time or a couple of months in the winter when she retires but i don't think my mom wants to live in arizona and honestly, I don't think my dad really wants to either year round. He's just like, the older he gets, the more he's like, I'm cold. And I'm like, you're fine. You've literally lived in Minnesota your entire life. I mean, like they moved around a lot, but I'm like, you are, you know how to adapt to Minnesota winters. Okay, Craig. Okay, Craig. <laughs> but yeah, besides right. going to Boulder, what are, what are our 2021 goals? Oh. Do we want to talk about those? Heck yeah. Well, I'm glad we're going to Boulder because since the pandemic, I think we the all. Panorama. Yeah, the panorama. <laughs> <laughs> I know traveling is like number one on my list. Always. Like, I just want to go everywhere now. I've been stuck at fucking home for so long. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's one of my goals. Just travel more. Just travel more. I really want to go see different parts of the United States. Like I've been to a lot of different countries, just not a lot of states within the U.S. Yeah. So, and like once the panorama is over, I would love to go to New York. I just want to go to New York. I've never been. New York Christmas. Cool. Oh, that would be so fun. We know. Christmas in New York. And like, I want to go to the Carolinas, want to go to New Orleans. New Orleans. I'll drive down to New Orleans. Ooh, we should do that. 2022. 2022. I want to go to obviously like more sporting events like twins and football games. Oh, you guys can have people at games now. Yeah, I heard they're having 10,000 people for the twins home opener. So yeah, wow, things are looking up. And that's like for concerts too. Yeah. Oh, is it? I've heard any like outdoor music, live music. Yeah, Firefest. Yeah. Firefest posted something that they can at least have ten thousand yeah. people at it. So I'm like, thank God it's gonna happen. Yeah. <laughs> well, I already so I excited. bought a ticket last year and I never canceled. So hopefully my ticket still counts. It is. It's still good. I've got an in. <laughs> I am also um, oh go ahead. I want to, I signed up for a half marathon in Salt Lake City with my brother's girlfriend. And my goal is to run it in under two hours or like two hours. How many miles? 13.1. Okay. Yeah. That would be tough. So yeah, (laughs) my, my fastest time, cause I've done a lot of half marathons. My fastest time right now is like 215, I think. So yeah, trying to shave off 15 minutes. <laughs> oh gosh. When did you run a 215? That was when I was um training for the full marathon. I randomly oh. signed up for the women rock 
half marathon in St. Paul that goes like along Shepherd Road. And I just like registered, went and ran it by myself. Like no one was there. And then I just like met up with someone for brunch afterwards. Like it was just part of my training. <laughs> like that was the distance I was going to have to run that week anyways. So it just worked mm-hmm. out that there was a half marathon that I could go and get my time. So yeah, that one was like two fifteen. That's an awesome time. I've ran how many? Five, four or five half marathons. And my fastest has only been 238, which was like a really if, a huge improvement from yeah. what it used to be. Yeah. But 215, that's awesome. And then under two hours. Hell yeah. Get that's it, girl. The goal. What's the pace at under two hours? Ooh, it's probably you know like that? eight something. Damn. Just under nine minute that's miles, crazy. I think. Yeah, it is. Thanks, guys. <laughs> you, can, you can do it, Carrie. I have no stretch doubt. Stretch goal. It's a stretch goal. So even if you, you been... shave like five minutes off, that yeah. would be awesome for sure. So have you been running at all during any of your workouts? Or I'm starting this week. Nice. nice. Yeah, I'm still like a baby about running outside because there's still so much like snow and ice, and I'm just oh, like, yeah, oh, I don't want to slip. Um, but yeah. I'll start running on the treadmill for sure. And I think most of the paved roads that I would run on anyways are pretty getting pretty dry. So I'll start that. And then my half marathon actual training plan that I'm going to follow, which is like designed to help you run an under two half marathon that starts in July. It'll be good to like get to a point where I'm not like starting from scratch in July. Like hopefully I'm like in a pretty good fit state so that I can just kind of continue and stick to the running plan nice yeah i guess mine all revolve around music <laughs> That's good. Like, I, this was like the first year that i didn't really like write down my goals like all the years before i was like okay let me get my get out my word document and write type out what i want to do for the year and um i didn't really do that this year but i guess um a big goal of mine is to be to have five or six songs that are like the best I've ever done and um, have the money to um, record them in 2022. So, so I can, so I can have the full package ready to go. Heck yeah. Music videos, the whole thing. Yes. Music videos. And I, I don't think a lot of people know like I only know all of this stuff because I'm friends with you, but I don't think a lot of people know how expensive it is for uh, artists in Nashville or wherever you're trying to make it, how expensive it is for you to record like and make music videos. Quality. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, no wonder yeah. why it takes people forever to like climb the ladder there because you have to save up all this money in -hmm. order to have one good song that has awesome quality. Yeah. It, it, yeah. And it costs a lot to record, mix, master, do a music video, do the photo shoot for it and run Facebook ads and all that. And then your return on investment more than likely is not going to be anywhere near what you spent on all that. Exactly. Especially when you're like an unsigned, yeah, just like independent artist trying to put out your own stuff. So I mean, a lot of artists get most of their money from touring, even like major artists. Like it's not from streaming. If if you can get on radio, it, it, it you can make some good money, but it's all touring, which this past year has not been a thing. Yeah. Well, touring and don't they make a lot of like money with royalties, like if commercials use their song or. Oh, yeah. I'm sure Lizzo's merch all in because everyone used Lizzo's song good as hell on everything. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's doing fine. Yeah. (laughs) She good. She's good. good. Oh, my God. This is like going to go off on somewhere else. But like, did you guys watch The Handmaid's Tale? Of course. At all? Uh, Yes. Season four is coming out in April and oh. I just rewatched the trailer again for season four and they used Billie Eilish's song see see me in a crown oh I love that Ooh. song that's a, actually like my favorite Billie Eilish songs oh my god I, I'm and not like a huge so Billie Eilish fan but that song love that Billie Eilish see me in a crown yeah, yeah she's cool um, yeah aren't you the like grannies? her Aaron yeah I like her stuff 
Oh my god! <laughs> Isn't the Grammys tonight? Yeah, the Grammys are tonight. Grammys. I feel like I completely didn't realize that they were tonight. Like I felt like they. Yeah. I feel I've like they should be like a month away. Yeah, I've been seeing people like talk about it on Twitter, but I wasn't sure when. I honestly don't even know who's doing. nominated or any of that. Well, You'll have all to I watch know is that. Out. <laughs> the weekend is pissed and he's never he's not gonna have any like his label or anything like submit his songs or albums to the grammys ever again so mm-hmm. he'll never be a stupid yeah. Grammy. Oh, wow. but then again i mean at the end of the day artists have to ask themselves like how much that kind of stuff matters to them like obviously it's great and it's amazing to be recognized in that way but you know how much you know, are you really gonna like, like, how are, how much do you care whether or not like a certain industry like gives you an award about something? Right. Like if you're selling out crowds, like, yeah, right. It does it really matter. No, you already won. You already already won. Your your fans love you. Your fans are coming to see you. Like you're living. That's all that matters. You're living the the dream, whether you have a statue in your home about it or not. Right. Yeah. For sure. But it is like an ego thing too, because you want to know well, like, yeah. your art is like up to the standard the by these critics of to course. like win an award. But I feel like there's a lot of these artists have to spend a lot of money on advertising to the Grammy voters. Cause like in Na- especially in Nashville, there's a lot of like industry people who are um members of the Grammys and they vote on their their winner. Sure. And so there's all there's always just a ton of billboards around this time that are like for your Grammy consideration, mm. please vote for so and so for Luke Bryan or oh, whatever the heck it is. Hmm. All wow. I know is I hope the show is good and better than the fucking Golden Globes because <laughs> Jesus Christ, the Golden <laughs> Globes are awful. It was they just the virtual aspect of the Golden Globes, like it was not great. Like they struggled. And like Oof. people have been not great. putting on good award shows being virtual, but I don't know who produced the Golden Globes or who like it was not set great. all that shit up, but it was it was so awkward to watch. And I it felt so bad for Amy Fuller <laughs> and Tina Fey because yeah. they're amazing and they did a great job hosting. Yes. But like you can only save the show so much. Like if there's so many technical issues. Yeah. And, oh my God. Oh, no. Technical it was just issues were rough. It's- it's so crazy how much an audience affects a show because mm-hmm. like they did a, a cmt award show a while ago and they had like all the artists they were in the audience but they're all separated out at tables and nobody was real it's, it's just not the same as like a public audience who's like excited to see right all celebrities you know well um, and so it's it just it just sucks the life out of the room and especially right. for like a comedian too like if you don't have those laughs like following your joke it's like, awkward it's awkward yeah well and with the golden globes it's like they were they just had so many different people you know using this online virtual system that like cutting from person to person like they just could not figure it out and it's like that's the difference between like when the you know any of these other award shows where they're still like have everyone in the same room but like distanced you know that's like all the cameras are in the same room and they're still just like cutting and whatnot whereas like at the golden globes it was like cutting from people's computers on a zoom call basically is what it was like and then like amy and tina were in two different venues with two different setups you know what i mean and it was just like wow yeah they were recording from two different areas like two different states i think i think one was in california and one was in new york yeah see the thing that (laughs) it was like so awkward because like the timing was off and yeah oh man what drives me crazy about like tv and like award shows and all that stuff during this panorama is like how they they have to like put on the act that they're social distancing like they have the desk <laughs> six feet apart and i'm just like bitch i know that both of y'all have gotten tested 
Yeah. And after this is done filming, you're gonna have a you're gonna go and hug him like yeah, like a normal person. Yeah. Like well, filming. yeah, and they have photos and shit on Instagram stories right. to prove that too. Like they're taking photos together, but when they're on the stage, they're like, Oh, we need to stand six feet apart, which right. they yeah. don't need to, but yeah. And with the way testing is, like, you know, they got tested. They don't have COVID. Like, mm-hmm. they can be right next to each other. <laughs> like, it just For drives sure. me crazy. And then, like, TV shows that are, like, super current about the virus and all that stuff. Like, I used to, this is very, like, dramatic of me, but I loved watching <laughs> This Is Us. <laughs> and this Jody season. Loves that show. <laughs> You get okay. The writing in that show is so good. It's and, so good. And I get song ideas left and right from that that show. That's awesome. <laughs> but uh, the the first episode of this new season, they were all wearing their masks and they were all like freaking out about the pandemic. And I'm like, this is dumb. I don't want to watch this. Too real. So Too I stopped soon. watching it. Too, Too soon. soon. <laughs> Yeah, I will just never uh, forget the episode. I think it was like season three where on This Is Us, where they were in the Hard Rock Hotel at the Circle Bar in Vegas. Shut up. Oh, my God. I'm sad that the Hard Rock in Vegas is gone. That was my favorite. I know. It's gone? Best pool. Yeah, they tore it down. Really? When did they do this? Building a new one. Like last year. They're building a new one. And it was a brand new or no, well, just they're a new, just building a new hotel. I was gonna, but say. like when say. we had went there, it was like a brand new hotel. So I don't understand the whole thing. Mm-hmm. But the best whatever. pool. I miss Vegas. I know. I can't wait to go. If you guys, oh, that's another. Know. That's on my um thirty before thirty list, which I need to start checking stuff off this year because I'm twenty nine. <laughs> um, but one of my things was to go see a Vegas Raiders game. So. I'm hoping I'm down. this fall they'll let people go to Raiders games. I'm guessing. Oh, I'm we'll sure see. they will. But if the, if I can, I'm going. <laughs> like period, the end. Got to do it. Got to do it. That new $500 stadium looks later. dope. Five hundred dollars later. Can uh, I tell you guys about this crazy dream that I had? Yes, please. Like, please. and I know. Um, Aaron, like you had asked, like, <laughs> have you guys been having crazy dreams? <laughs> and then Carrie responds, I mean, that's pretty normal. <laughs> always, always having crazy dreams. But I had this like most like vivid dream. <laughs> it was so dumb. It was about, so like our governor, Tim Walz in Minnesota, like had a press conference on Wednesday, right? About mm-hmm like giving an update on COVID or whatever. And like, I don't know if I saw this when I like woke up in the middle of the night, but like they always have like these graphics of just like turning the dial on or some shit. Yeah. However, they're trying to go with it. So like in the sections, it was like wedding, no limitations. Like you just have to be socially distanced. And then it said like reception, or concerts or blah 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 it, there was a limit of 250 people and I was like that doesn't make any sense to me in my head so you're gonna tell people hey come to my wedding ceremony I'm gonna mm-hmm. invite 500 people but then I can <laughs> only, only have 50 of 250. you 250 <laughs> yeah. yeah is that like what it is because like I don't I, know. and then I was just like so pissed off in my dream I'm like everything is so like just doesn't make sense <laughs> And blah blah blah. I was just like pissed off in my dream, and like I feel like I've been, you know, like I follow all of the rules and the policies. I wear my mask everywhere. Course, blah blah yeah. blah. But I, I think I'm getting to the point where it's just like none of this is making sense to me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, it's just like I just don't fucking get it, and I just want life to be. It's just hard. Again. Like I think it's about just like easing back into it. You know, whether or not it makes sense, I think you know, governors or whoever are just trying to avoid being like, all right, like with flip of a switch, we're just going to go back to normal. It's like, we got to like test the water still and like, just see how, you know, having people vaccinated, like, is that helping? Like, are we, are our numbers going down? You know, so whether or not the actual numbers make sense, because I agree, I'm like, what is, like, where did you come up with that number? (laughs) You know, like, 
how, yeah. how are people less at risk with 250 people at a wedding reception versus 500? Like, you don't know. Yeah. It's like, whoever's it's in the room, up. like, are the people you're inviting to your wedding responsible? Like, have they been, you know, taking care of themselves and like wearing their masks and taking it seriously? Or if they haven't, because if it, because if that demographic is like, off you know then it doesn't matter how many people it's like who the people are right yeah are they protecting themselves or not so I don't it's know. wild everything's it made up <laughs> it's all an illusion what, it, what is life what is, is my life? Real? <laughs> so the... i'll never forget when aaron <laughs> when we went to vegas was that with our friend group or for annie's wedding but you we were somewhere and you just like were looking around and you were like, this is all a simulation. <laughs> I know, like you had just like been observing like in the casino or something. And you were like, this is all a simulation. Oh, yeah. Casino? <laughs> like, Casinos yeah. weird me out sometimes. Like, especially if like. <laughs> Casinos I mean, weird me out sometimes. Well, it's just like. It's a game. It's amazing to watch people who are addicted to it. Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. like they like and how the machines work, like especially if you have like took in the, taking a marketing class or something like th- every For time odds. you do something like and you lose money it still makes it sound or seem like you won on mm-hmm. those like slot machines and everything yes it's just like people just fall right into it mm-hmm. oh yeah you bet 50 cents but hey i won 19 cents but i yeah. really lost this amount yeah, yeah. Right. i hate gambling i'm like the minute like i was just doing pull tabs with my brother-in-law a couple week weeks ago for his birthday we were at the bar and we like I don't know how much he probably put like 60 in and then we got one that was like we want a hundred bucks and he was like oh should we do more and I was like oh god no I would stop (laughs) I was like what no we won like why would we throw it away like what do you mean (laughs) stop all your head (laughs) I wish they had bars down here. I don't know if they they have any that have pull tabs. In Nashville? I don't think I've never seen pull tabs at any bar that I've gone to down here. They, I, I guess mean, maybe out of out of Nashville a little bit. Yeah, because it usually depends yeah. on like it, the it is state's weird. gambling laws. It varies oh, by state. Never thought of that. Yeah. Yeah, you go to North Dakota and you just go into like a regular bar and they have freaking slot machines everywhere in North Dakota. Yep. Yeah. But in Minnesota, you have to go to a casino. But like, I I don't mind gambling. Like, I really do like to play slot machines. But I always have a limit. Like, like when I go to Vegas, I always just bring two hundred dollars to gamble. And I know that's like nothing in Vegas, but it keeps me busy for like the whole weekend. Yeah, <laughs> like <laughs> free drinks. Yeah, True. you get yeah. free drinks, yeah. and that then I nice. like to play the Britney Spears machine. <laughs> it's just fun. Brooke, so, you yeah. need to get on your TikTok game and do your Britney Spears impression. Honestly, oh, you've been you've been like sneaking your way. Yeah, the you've been game testing the waters on TikTok. Well, honestly, you. it's really hard to figure out all of the things that you can do. Like, I couldn't figure out how to keep um, wording on one. You know, like if you make different clips on there i don't know how to keep the wording on one clip do so you know I, how to do that <laughs> <laughs> tiktok so think, for millennials 101 <laughs> i think you just have to i don't really know what they tried to like hold it down hilarious <laughs> but anyway yeah i've been Watch trying it's, it's hard i know yeah. how to stitch and i know how to save you can like save sounds so like yeah, if you yeah. want to save like waking up in the morning, <laughs> that's thinking about so many favorite. things. <laughs> I wish things would still get better. <laughs> I, I love that. T- get- I love that sound. <laughs> I love the sound where it's like that recorder that's like out of tune playing like Africa by Toto. <laughs> and it just sounds like really derpy like it doesn't even matter the context of the video like if that sound is on it i am dying it is so funny or like the titanic song when it <laughs> comes on with the bad recorder too oh my god it's all out of tune it's classic oh, so funny <laughs> and then i like the mashups too except 
I, I like the song where it's like, and it goes on and on and tick tock on the clock. Oh. But it's always like people like doing progress videos or whatever. Mm-hmm. But I like that mashup. Yeah. I like, like the one of um, it's Whitney Houston's I Will Always Love You. And then it turns into a Lizzo song. Have you seen that one? No, you have to send oh, it. Oh, yeah, to- I'll send it to you guys. But it it like. It's Whitney Houston's I Will Always Love You. And, and then it goes into I'm Crying Because I Love You. It's oh, so good. Yeah, like, good. I love mashups. Ask oh my God, did like, you guys? All freshman see... year in our dorm, I like had a playlist of just mashup songs that I would play while like <laughs> studying in our dorm. I feel like, like, do you listen to anything else? <laughs> well, wasn't that Time Flies like super popular when we were in college too? And didn't, isn't that Time all flies. they did was like mashup? songs i know know dj snake i like dj snakes like end of the year like he'll take all of the top songs and like mash them into like it it was dj earworm oh yeah dj earworm you're right yeah i don't know if he's done one recently but he was doing them yeah every year like at the end of the year for a while those are great did you guys see the video the tiktok i sent about the new white claw variety packs no (laughs) yeah (laughs) what about it (laughs) Okay, so they really are coming out with way. new flavors. It's like pineapple, blackberry, and I don't know what the other like flavors are. Flavors? Like in one can? No, no. like a different oh. variety pack. Oh, okay. Yeah, like a new pack or whatever. Okay. And like the guy who's like <laughs> reviewing them opens each one of them. And he like he's like, okay, this is the blackberry one. And he takes a sip and then he's like this is good and then he like opens the pineapple one. Oh my god this is so good like it wasn't even like a review but it was just hilarious. like yep they are good <laughs> we gotta There's get this guy. ranch water oh ranch, ranch water. water are they gonna sponsor did we us? did you guys try that when we were in nashville i Aaron. did i tried the original oh, one and the original one is eh. it doesn't really taste like much but I had a grapefruit one uh, Mm. the weekend before I did 75 hard, and that one was fire. I love grapefruit. Grapefruit, anything is clutch. Any citrus. I don't like, like, mango, white claw, truly. I don't like that. But if it's, like, like lemon or lime or grapefruit, those are the ones I like. Mango gives me freaking acid reflux so bad. I don't know (laughs) what it is. (laughs) It does. Millennial. And, the millennial podcast right here talking about our honestly. Acid and, <laughs> yeah. And our TikToks. Yeah. We we this podcast definitely caters to a very specific age group. <laughs> yeah. There's an age. If you're less than 20 years old, go fuck yourself. No. <laughs> are you are you we we love the Gen Z ears. Come on yeah. in. Come on in. We'll teach you. Except the, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna wear grandma pants. I'm sticking with the skinny I was gonna, I was gonna ask if, <laughs> if if y'all felt personally attacked by the by the no skinny jeans. I just and, don't and get side it. Part trend. I don't get it either because like I'm seeing I'm like have you people... seen me try to have a middle part? Like it does not look good on everyone. <laughs> <laughs> it does I think not. I might do the middle part, but mm. the grandma pants, like I don't mind like the wide leg. I don't mind those pants. But like the actual fucking grandma pants, like don't sign me up for those. I'm not like I am not skinny enough to wear those. You girls have it the hardest. Like guys, like I feel like nothing has changed. (laughs) You guys are like jeans and a (laughs) t-shirt. Yeah. Or having like a mullet. And I feel like with guys, it's like, you know, the Justin Bieber relaxed style with like sweatshirts. Great style. (sighs) He's so hot. He's so hot. Love Biebs. Mm-hmm. Biebs. Biebs, <laughs> Biebs over here on the Three Too Many podcast. Yeah. Biebs, are you coming on? Matthew McConaughey? <laughs> Waking up in the morning. <laughs> Think about so many things. I wish things would just get better. Oh, God. I could do so many videos to that of me, like, when I was younger, playing playing music on YouTube. Oh. Oh, gosh. 
I know I was I I love the ones where they're like my mom let me dress up as Lady Gaga. Oh my I gosh, was, that was did hilarious. you see that one? Yeah, <laughs> and she's like painted her face white, and then it like reminds me I should make a video actually using that as Allison when she wanted to be Khloe Kardashian. Oh my gosh. <laughs> She fucking Classic. showed up like Elvira slash yeah, Amy Winehouse. With mustard tights on. <laughs> oh, oh my God. That was so funny. Yeah. Do you guys have any more 2021 goals you want to share? I want to brew another beer. Oh yeah, um, I brewed a beer last year and it I was actually pretty impressed that like I could drink a whole one and it like tasted fine because <laughs> I was like totally prepared for it to be terrible like my first brew and be like I literally can't even drink this and would not want to offer it to anyone but it didn't it turned out pretty good um and uh Polly's friends gave us like a bigger brewing kit so we can brew more at a time and we have a recipe for a copper ale so just like a you know red ale kind of middle of the road so we're gonna try that hopefully soon get another homebrew batch done yeah carrie carrie works at a brewery so she she knows all about beer all about it live it love it craft beer she's gonna have a an episode of the podcast where she talks about all the beers yeah i was thinking it was 75 hard yeah i thought it would be fun for like when we do our pizza mukbang when we're done with 75 hard like we could do that and we could do a beer tasting at the same time yeah straight up beer and pizza episode can't wait to shit myself (laughs) (laughs) should we do a podcast when we're in colorado i feel like we should we could do you guys want that why not i'm asking our listeners oh (laughs) (laughs) let us know in the comments let us know know. (laughs) do you want us to record in colorado well i figured we would do a lot like on social media at the very least you know for sure so be sure to follow three too many on instagram twitter facebook youtube all of it we're We're on on tiktok Subscribe to us, rate us, like us everywhere. Mm-hmm. We're everywhere. Share with your friends. Because mm-hmm. you're everywhere to me. <laughs> it wow, us. that was beautiful, Brooke. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. My Nana says I'm a great singer. Oh. What about you guys? Any other goals you're going towards this year? Well, I'm moving from Minneapolis to Little Falls. So what? I didn't. Yeah, know that. yeah. I'm making a big step and moving in with a boy. Wow. <laughs> so nervous. <laughs> Thinking about so many things. <laughs> no, but it'll be really good. Um, the area that he lives in is like 20 minutes. Um, by like my dad and my it's close to my mom too and my grandparents and everything so it'll be nice but the goal is like I want to get all moved in and like settled like throughout the summer and the house that my boyfriend lives in is needs a lot of work so I have a list of projects projects um I would like to get done and one of them is the basement because currently (laughs) It just has my treadmill down there and red carpet. So um, red carpet house, red, red, red carpet, carpet house. house. <laughs> Don't forget that was a college house, Men. you guys. Yeah, <laughs> we've heard of that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm just like really excited to do some fixer upper shit. I've been reading a lot of blog posts, watching some YouTube videos. So hopefully, I can DIY some stuff because if y'all know me, I'm not really a DIYer, but I'm gonna have to be because. Yeah, girl get it shit's expensive right now so yeah how about you Aaron um I want to go I want to quit my job and work somewhere part-time yes. that's all I want to do yeah <laughs> McDonald's McDonald's here I come hey <laughs> they're paying 15 bucks an hour spicy now. chicken <laughs> no I, I was thinking about maybe doing valet Ooh, oh nice yeah, yeah something where know. you can make tips stack yeah. cash and I don't want to have in. to do it on the weekends, though. I know, but that's fine. 
Like if you have a part-time job and you're a musician, you probably want to find a part-time job during the week. Yeah, but I don't know. I, I don't know. He'll figure it out, bro. <laughs> hey, if I can. He's trying to I help can, you like, out. <laughs> if I can get a part-time job anywhere, like, and still survive, like, I'll be happy. Yeah. Yeah. So, and plus, I I feel like if I'm playing shows in Nashville, I'm gonna want to play like the afternoon gigs. Yeah. Where everyone's not too drunk yet, can still remember my name. <laughs> Remember Y'all don't forget to stream Aaron Clapton, <laughs> Spotify. You don't have to. <laughs> no, you do. You have to. We gotta you help to. Aaron. So I'll kick your true. ass. I'll kick your ass. Aaron, you're on so many of my playlists. Chasing yeah. that neon That's what rainbow. I like to hear. And That's Rosemary. Right. Oh my God, I love your guys' song together. Thank you. That turned out good. Mm-hmm. What's it called again? We should have stayed in. We should have stayed in. So good. So. Also stream that song. And Rosé all day. Yeah, Rosé all day. And Cry For Me. Yeah. <laughs> we will, like, li- we will link all songs? these things in the show notes. <laughs> oh. Check it out. We'll have to rewatch the whole thing to remember what we... What, I know, what, we referenced what we a lot of things. But that's good. Yeah. But yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for listening. Make sure to subscribe to us on all of the social media platforms because we got it all. So we'll talk to you next week. Yeah. Peace. Bye.